my name is Sarah Stout and I am from Seattle, Washington and I am really excited to talk with you today about some of our favorite storybooks and novels. So let's get going. We have tons of books in our Illustrated Stories collection and we just added two more in our new catalog. This one's called 5 Minute Bedtime Stories, this one's called 10 Minute Bedtime Stories. Both of them are great, or 10 minute stories, but both of them are great for bedtime or really anytime because they have beautiful illustrations in them and they are wonderful collections of, of stories. Some of them have popular, some, some well-known stories in them, some stories are not, but they're really fun and engaging for children. We've already read them a couple times and we've read through both books a couple times at least and we've only had them a, um, a week or two ourselves. So definitely check out, we have Illustrated Bibles, Illustrated Stories from the World, Illustrated Dickens, Shakespeare, Aesop's Fables, you name it. We have so many in our Illustrated Stories collection that are really fun and engaging for children. So we have two new um, storybooks that came out. We have several chapter books by uh, this author, Sally Rippon, who I had the chance to meet a few months ago. And the, they are from, they're called Billy B. Brown and Hey Jack which they're friends. So these ones are new storybooks that have Billy and, and Jack in preschool. So it's kind of starting the kids a little bit younger um, and talking about preschool. They're really creative, imaginative stories. My son loves these books. We Like I said, we just got these ones too because they just came out in the new catalog and we've already read them several times as well. They're really fun books. Okay, another new one that we have that came out is I'm a Dirty, or I'm a Hungry Dinosaur. Sorry, we already have I'm a Dirty Dinosaur, but now we have I'm a Hungry Dinosaur, and my son, I told him this, and he proudly told my husband when he read it to him for the first time, that, Daddy, this was illustrated with real frosting and real sprinkles, and it's true, it was illustrated with real frosting and real sprinkles. It's pretty neat. So, I'm a Hungry Dinosaur with a Hungry Tum. I'll shake and stir and mix and beat and make a cake that's yum. Shake, shake, stir, stir, make a cake that's yum. So it ha it follows a pattern and the pages are really thick. You can kind of tell they're really thick, almost cardstock type pages. Really, really cute stories and fun for fun and engaging for little children. Here's another one that just came out. It's called Too Many Tomatoes. And this is by a fabulous author called Eric Odie. He happens to be local to me, so I've heard him read his stories aloud several times, and also we have his CDs. He, he's a musician as well as an author, and he used to be a teacher as well. So this story is about this little boy who comes to his, his grandparents' house, and they have too many tomatoes. And it's a great story about sharing and giving, and it's just it's a really fun story because it, it goes through... Um, different careers even because they go give it to the plumber, the, you know, all these different people. It's a really fun story. I highly recommend this and his other, checking out his other books as well. Okay, my English teacher heart kind of swooned when this book came out. It's called Where's Will? So you find Shakespeare and his characters hidden within his plays. So there's a brief synopsis of the play that's illustrated to tell you the, to tell children the story. And they have to find then on the next page those characters and, and Will or William. Shakespeare is in every page. So it's a really great way to introduce children to the world of William Shakespeare in a really unobtrusive way to make it fun and engaging for them at a young age. Another book that just came out is this one called Olga de Polga. And this is from Michael Bond, who is the creator of Paddington Bear. And I'm telling you, this book is the sweetest book. I started reading it a few weeks ago with my son, and I was just so enthralled with the writing of the book. And this is coming from an English teacher who, who I do a lot of reading. Um, this book was is just so well written. I wanted to just keep reading and reading and reading. Each chapter is a, is just this hilarious story about Olga de Polga, who's this guinea pig, and uh, who's a really sassy guinea pig. It's just a really great story for for really children of and even adults of all ages. So before we move on to some novels, I want to share really quickly about this set. It's called the very first reading set, and this set shows parents how to teach their children to read. So there are 15 hardbound books. It comes with a parent's guide and also online help as well that, give, that can further expound upon what's in the book. 
um, but it gives sample pages from the book. It shows you any irregular words. It shows you the letters that are going to be introduced in each book. And then at the back of each book, there are comprehension exercises. So each of the books, um, each of the 15 books in the series are hardbound books. And so it makes it really um, reusable for multiple children. Okay, let's talk about some fun novels. This one is, we've already had Wheel Nuts come out before, but now we just had a few more. My son, we've already read this one twice. We just barely got it the other day, and we've already read it twice. But these ones are so engaging for, for children because, as you can see, each page is colorfully illustrated. There's colorful illustrations on every page. And there's different pictures that help to kind of break up the wording. So they're perfect for struggling readers. Fairy ponies, we have, we have, um, this series just came out and we had, uh, two or three more that just was added to it. This is really, um, a fun series. We have Secret Mermaid that just came out. So this is about the ocean and the shell keeper mermaids. This one's the first one in the series called Enchanted Shell. Now we've had Penny Dreadful books that come out that came out earlier, um, about a um, within the last six to twelve months. But we just had a few more that just came out, and Penny Dreadful books are really neat because they also do have pictures in them, and each chapter is a story in and of itself. So it kind of makes it it breaks up the reading for children. All right, we do have I, some true stories that came out. So true stories of crime and detection. I know there's true stories of survival. There's a few different true stories that, that came out. So um, it's really interesting and engaging for, for those kids who are really into nonfiction in a novel type format. A couple more I shared. This one I just started reading and I'm really loving it. It's called The Impossible Quest and this is a series of three. So these these kids, um, they're in Wolfhaven Castle and Four people, the, the castle is attacked and four unlikely heroes basically survive and have to try to save their people. And so that's what this series is based on. The last one I will share is this one. It's called The Sword of Kuramori. And this boy, Kenny, he goes to Japan thinking it's just going to be a trip of a lifetime. And it turns out when he gets to the airport that there's these mythical monsters who want him dead. So it's kind of this, um, this story of... He has to figure out what's going on and how he can survive. So I hope you found some fun storybooks and novels for all the kids in your life. Thank you.